so now all the animation is actually there now the next step I'm gonna use a tool that I can't really uh, uh, share because it's not mine to share but um uh, there may be other tools out there that do this but this is a tool that I've used from one of my first video games that I worked on called El Bolo uh, so the process that I have to do here is um, it's just more steps than maybe maybe that that then should be necessary but I'll do, you know hopefully you could just kind of like see how I do it and you could adapt it to whatever tool you're able to have access to so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn off this layer because I don't need to see it everything is lined up now right and I'm going to export this I'm just gonna save for web save it as a PNG and this is a uh, this is how you always want to save stuff out of Illustrator or Photoshop when it comes to having the art be for a game because PNG 24 is is you know full millions of colors with transparency which means that you'll be able to see through any areas that haven't been filled in with color and uh, it's going to be save it automatically as at a uh, 72 dpi which is the file size that you use for all video games so we're just going to say save and it's going to keep the name the same name as what what this one was uh, I guess this one was called but with .png so I have that file now but one last step that I need to do is I need to I need to convert that file that PNG to another format just for this testing tool that I ha that I use so uh, I'm just gonna skip ahead and basically show you uh, uh, no why not I'll just show you so I'm gonna open and I'm going to go to that file that PNG file here's that PNG file and I know it's very light to see. It could be hard for you to see. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so you could kind of like see. Um, but what I'm going to do, what I need to do is I need to save as. And I'm going to save this as a target file. You normally do not need to do this, just to, just to recap. Um, and I'm going to do that. Hit save. 32 bits, sure. And I have this tool called animation edit and what this tool is going to allow me to do actually let me just close out it reopen it's going to allow me to load that that file that target file and you're going to see all the animation on the top next to each other just the same way we saw in Illustrator and what I could do is I could set 128 by 128 so it puts a box around the first frame I'm going to say, how many frames is this? This is eight frames from left to right. So now you'll see the boxes are around all of them. And I'm going to click the view button. I'm going to say users loop from zero frame, which is the very first frame. I'm going to set the frame to 20 frames per second. And I'm going to hit run. And there we go. This is this is the actual animation. And um, for the video game engine that we used in El Bolo, this is exactly how it will look when it's played. So um, this is the process that I've used. And this allows me to check to make sure that all of the artwork is lined up accurately. Um, and that that part of the process inside Illustrator, when I'm, when I'm dropping all of the different pieces of frames into here, allow, you know, just that allows me to really keep things accurate. Um, so that's that's uh, this part of I guess the second part of the the tutorial. There is going to be one last part that really talks about okay, yeah, this is fine for testing the animation, but what about actually having, you know, I have all the frames here, but now what I want to do is I want to actually have uh, I want to see what it's like to have the final artwork in here. So I'm going to show that in the last tutorial that's uh, uh, I'll probably post uh, tomorrow or so. All right, hope you're enjoying this so far and and that it's informative uh to you.